Humans are very good at seeing the cause and knowing the effect. However, if we're not careful, we can fall into the trap of believing that we can always predict things accurately. Lots of the time we're right. If, for example, we see that it's snowing outside and our beloved is headed out in a light jacket, we know that later we'll have one chilly beloved. Or we see that our colleague has left only 20 minutes to get across town at rush hour to an important client, and we can predict that she'll be late. We can feel pretty sure about these things and would be surprised if we were wrong. The problem is we like predicting so much that we predict and feel pretty certain about many things, even in cases where there is lots of complexity and our predictions are unlikely to be right. By complexity, we mean situations where there are a lot of moving parts, like different people, rules and policies, and physical and social systems. With all these pieces interacting together, no one can predict exactly what will happen or what the right answer will be on any particular issue. What feels like the right answer today might be close to the bullseye, or it could miss the target altogether. Who knows? Because there is such a vast number of possible answers, what feels almost right today might be a lot further off tomorrow. When there is a right answer that is known, or can be found through further analysis, leaders and their teams can predict, plan and control. Most of our management tools help us to do this in predictable situations. However, using these helpful tools in complex situations can just dig us into a hole. If the right answer cannot be predicted, plans have to cover what can become a very large number of possibilities. So many possibilities that it becomes impossible to plan or to predict what will happen. Then it becomes much harder to exercise control or deliver what we predicted. So what can we do? With volatility, ambiguity, uncertainty and complexity mounting up, we need different ways to lead. That's why we wrote our book, Simple Habits for Complex Times. We've drawn from theory and research in a wide variety of fields to bring a few simple habits that all of us can use to escape our reflexes and the patterns of our past and choose instead to exercise a new set of muscles in a new way. Firstly, the habits need to be memorable, so leaders can carry them in their heads and draw on them whenever they find themselves in challenging situations. Secondly, they need to be immediately useful, so leaders will find it helpful to repeat them over and over, and therefore they end up becoming habitual. And thirdly, and most importantly, they need to support each other and create a whole that is much greater than the sum of the parts. Our habits are simple to talk about, but tricky and transformational to do. The first is to increase your curiosity and ask different questions of yourself and others. The second is to take multiple perspectives, even when, or especially when, you don't want to. The third habit is to see systems, to notice the patterns and forces instead of looking at individual elements or simple cause and effect. Together these habits make up a powerful whole. We hope you'll check out more about each habit in our other videos. Come with us as we escape the trap of our reflexive habits and create the habits that let us not only tolerate complexity, but thrive in it. <laughs>